What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Smell What Cooper's Cooking. I'm going to start this episode off by saying big shout outs to Chef Haynes Coupier for stepping in for me last week when I couldn't be here. Yeah, y'all, that guy's a trip, but that's neither here nor there because on today's episode, I'm bringing you guys a family friendly weekday favorite, Loco Moco. So join me as I hook up this super simple dish that you're going to love and want to make for your family whenever you don't have any time. So Come with me, let's go. What's going on y'all? Let's start by making the rice. Here I've got one and a half cups of jasmine rice. I got it inside my bowl here. I'm going to rinse this up. Once I've got it all rinsed up, I'm going to go ahead and add it into my trusty dusty rice cooker. Into this rice cooker, I'm also going to add two cups of water. And one teaspoon of sesame oil. Mix it all up, close the lid, give it the old set it and forget it. And let the rice cook to perfection. While my rice is cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and gather the rest of my ingredients that I'm gonna be using for my gravy. Here I've got some scallions, I got some onions, some mushrooms, beef broth, flour, and I've also got a seasoning mixture here I made to put on my burgers. If you guys want to know exactly what's in this seasoning recipe go ahead and look in the description i got the full recipe in there oh yeah and we can't forget the butter too y'all we got to put that butter in there all right now i'm going to start making the patties for my burgers here i have one pound of 80 20 ground beef i'm going to make three meatballs out of this just roll them all up try to get them as uniform as possible once I got them all rolled out smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and start flattening them out to create my burger patties. When the patties come together, go ahead and press a hole into the center of the burger. Let's go ahead and season these burgers up with this seasoning mixture that we made. Remember guys, full recipe is in the description. I got my pan over medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and slap my burgers inside. Get those bad boys inside this hot pan to start cooking. And once we got them all in, I'm gonna go ahead and season up the other side with a little bit more of our uh, seasoning mixture. Leave it down on that side to cook for about three to four minutes. And for that three to four minutes, just let it sit. Don't touch it, don't poke it, don't prod at it. Let it build up as much of that char as we can because we're going to be using that in our gravy as well. And after that three or four minutes, go ahead and flip your burgers over. Oh yeah, look how beautiful those look. Nice color on top. Let's go ahead and repeat that process on the opposite side. Now that my burgers have finished, I'm going to go ahead and remove those from this pan onto a tray to rest. Now we've got all those little char bits and that fond at the bottom of our pan. Getting ready to show y'all why they call me the big bad gravy daddy. Cause we're gonna be using all those little bits as the base for our gravy. I'm gonna lower my pan to about medium heat. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Coat my pan with that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions and my mushrooms. Saute those all up. Once my onions and mushrooms are sauteed up and starting to uh, develop a little bit of color on them, I am now going to add in a few knobs of butter. Now I'm gonna continue to saute until all my butter starts to melt. Once it starts to completely melt, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my flour. Add that flour in and then cook it out until that raw edge is out of the flour. And it starts to smell slightly nutty like I always tell y'all.
once you've cooked your flour into this mixture properly, we're gonna slowly start to add our beef broth in to deglaze the pan and create this gravy. Whisk a little at a time until all your broth has been used and you whisk it all smooth and it's well combined. If you guys can notice, all of that fond came up from the bottom of our pan and it is combined deliciously into this gravy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season it up with some of that seasoning mixture that we put on top of the burgers. Add a good pinch of cayenne pepper and whisk all that up to combine. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the gravy is done. And the final piece of this loco moco is cooking an egg to serve on top. In a pan, I'm gonna go ahead and melt some butter over medium low heat. Crack an egg in the center of that pan and cook it sunny side up until the egg whites have started to settle but your yolk is still runny. Season that egg up with a little bit of salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. All right, the egg is done. All of our components of this Locomoco have now been finished. Let's go ahead and start plating this up. On the center of my plate, I'm gonna go ahead and add my white rice. Next, I got this delicious meaty burger. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top, press it down into my pile of rice. Now I'm gonna go in and cover this up with this onion and mushroom gravy. Oh, look how bomb that looks with those little bits of onion and mushrooms all throughout this gravy. Whoo, look fire. Add our egg on top. A Little more of this cayenne pepper and some green onions as well. And there you have it, you guys, the local moco. This bad boy is rich with flavor. So let's go ahead and get into this, you guys. I gotta get me a bite. Let's go ahead and cut into it and get a little scoop for coop. Break that egg yolk, incorporate that into the gravy. Get a nice fork full of this rice and meat and eggs. Woo, this gravy is fire, y'all. Man, y'all definitely going to try this one out. This is a comfort food classic. Try this one at home. It is sure to not disappoint. There you have it, you guys. Moco Moco. Try this delicious Hawaiian favorite out. Next time you're looking for something fire to make at the house, I want to take this time to say thank you to all the people who've been helping me grow this channel. Shout out to C King, KB Wolf. I see y'all out there. Keep supporting. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share, friend, or foe. You already know. We'll catch you right back here next week for another episode of Smell What Coop is Cooking.